oh, I had no more than gotten up and the crusties are still in my eyes. And my dad called and said I had a package. And so I was like, okay, let me get my life together. So came in here, Riley is here and she's starting to get her life together. And then my dad came and there was a box, it was a big box. And um, well, a really cool thing has arrived. This is the big Ridge Monkey. This is the big one. The big one that I have been waiting on, that I was so excited about. This completes my Ridge Monkey set. Now, I have two other Ridge Monkeys. I started out with the tiny one, and it's about a sandwich size. It's really nice, I really loved it. I can make cakes, I can cook meat, I can do all sorts of things, and it's very small and personal size, which is great for whenever I travel by myself. But then I was like, oh, oh, they have a slotted pan and it has a bigger pan size. So I ended up with that one and I can cook for two people very easily with that one and have so many cool things. But the one thing that's been missing from my Ridge Monkey setup is the deep pot so I can make like soups and pastas and things like that. So when I've traveled with Riley in the past, it's always been up to her to bring the wok so that we can boil water for two people and things like that. But this should fix it where I no longer have to be um, reliant on that and it's square so it'll fit in more places. Okay, so now it's time. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this and see what it looks like. And then um, I guess we're gonna test it out and cook something. I'm just not sure what yet. Ooh, here it is. This is gonna be epic. This is gonna be nice. Okay, so size-wise, I will say that this is not quite as wide as my XL slotted pan. So this means that I have a small, a medium, and a large in this top portion. And so that way I can use a variety of different sizes and fits and things. So this is what it looks like pulled out of the box. It's a nice coloration on the outside. It's just like a gray steel color. And then on the inside, that's where you get to the granite finish. And this is supposed to help with the cooking. Now, the nice thing about this is the handles come inside in a little neoprene bag. I'm going to set those to the side and we'll add them in a moment. This is a nice deep pot. And again, it's square. So it's easier to use like silicone spatulas and things like that inside and nothing gets stuck to those edges. This is going to make for an easier cleanup with this particular surface and then this top piece of course that can be removed has ridges so it has a little griddle effect to it which is going to be really cool for cooking like meats and things like that so let me give you a size comparison first to some things that you might be familiar with so you can see how big this really is first and foremost a regular can of corn this is just a typical can of corn whenever we put it inside yeah I could fit four cans of corn and still have a little bit of room on the top. And so that kind of tells you how big this is. Everyone is familiar with a pack of ramen noodles. Well, pack of ramen noodles has some room to spare in there also. If I was to push it into the corner, you can see it's going to be about an inch and a half to two inches bigger in each direction than a thing of ramen noodles. And as you could see, tons and tons of real estate left in this top portion. So let's put on the handles real quick. They come in this nice little neoprene case to make sure nothing gets scratched up. The reason I like these is because Ridge Monkey has this really cool design that snaps in place. And then do you see this little end piece right here? This is actually a magnet and both of them have a magnetic end. So whenever you put them together, they stay together. Now, I originally found Ridge Monkey as a result of looking up people who had my van. I have an NV200 and a lot of people in the States did not have those. So finding people who had them was super important and it took me abroad to the UK. In doing so, I found that not only did they have a lot of NVs, but they had a lot of Ridge Monkeys. And Ridge Monkey is a brand that's based out of the UK that I'd never heard of before. I started looking into them and realized it was kind of hard to get them here. And so I took a chance and did an import and boy, am I glad I did and I haven't turned back since. So if you are interested in Ridge Monkey, they do have some of them available now online on Amazon. The wait time is still a little bit longer, but not near as long as ordering them from an independent distributor in the UK. So uh, this is your time, guys. Go find this. But uh, you'll, you'll see more about why in a minute. Okay, I think we're going to make chicken and dumplings. 
So I have some of the stuff for that, but I need to get a few more things. This is gonna be great. I've never been able to make chicken and dumplings on the road from like semi-scratch. I normally would boil my chicken and shred it and everything, but for the purpose of today's video, I think I'm gonna get some pre-shredded chicken just to make it a bit easier, but I'm so excited. So we just finished up our shopping, we got our things. Yep. I'm also gonna be trying out something else that Riley actually has brought with her that I'm very fascinated by and we've already so picked cool. we've already picked a recipe for it. So I'll be sharing that in an upcoming video. But for now, back to uh, my base camp. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually riding in the Jeep, which your eyes are not deceiving you. Nope. So when you see Riley getting in on the passenger side, that's actually normally where the driver's side would be. And um, I'm going to get in on what normally would be the passenger side, but this is the driver's side. So I'm going to get the Jeep started, but this has kind of been an interesting endeavor because I am not used to driving on this side. And so it's a little wild because, uh, you know, neither mine nor Riley's vehicles have passenger seats. So whenever we decide to go somewhere, we have to figure out how to do that. And right now, Riley, even though she has a back seat, she needs to get the oil changed. So she's in the process of figuring that out. But, you know, in the meantime, it gives us a little fun thing, which is kind of fitting. And go with me on this journey. When I found out about the Ridge Monkey, I found out about it from all of the UK channels. Guess what? They drive on this side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a full circle moment for the Ridge Monkey. But with that said, Riley, is it kind of weird? A little. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. It's very... Uh, different for sure. Okay, now I need this. I'm going to take this inside so I can actually get cook times because I'm going to be cooking on this guy and I need to know how well and how evenly this is going to cook. So instead of using my regular traditional stove here at my base camp, this guy's coming in. Okay, I decided to keep this super simple today for the testing out of the Ridge Monkey. And the reason why I wanted to do that is so that I could cook something that wouldn't be super difficult that I could achieve on the road, but I could also make an elevated version of this if I decided to put in a little bit more effort. So here I have the basics for chicken and dumplings. Now, if I was cooking this from scratch, I could make my own chicken by using the grill portion of the pan and then season it. I could also use whole carrots as opposed to the pre-shredded ones. And um, I could also use a different kind of biscuit by making my own. So that's a way that I could do this. But today for easy, simple assembly, I decided to make it a little bit less complex by taking my regular chicken stock and I'm going to have my already cooked and season traditional rotisserie chicken. It's gonna give it a nice flavor. And then I have these pre-shredded matchstick carrots and then just a can of regular biscuits. So for this, this is gonna save me a lot of prep time today for the purpose of this video. And I'm really excited about just getting this out and trying it. It's not so much about the ingredients itself today. It's more so about testing out the equipment. And so without further ado, I am going to go ahead and start to prepare this by setting up my camp stove. Now my camp stove runs off of butane. And again, the reason why I'm testing this at my base camp is so if I need to make any modifications or any changes, I can do that before I hit the road. But this gives me a good understanding of how warm this gets, how fast it goes to a full boil and things like that in this new pot. The next part is putting together the Ridge Monkey. And of course, a while ago, I showed you a little bit about it, but it basically has this little hinge right here. And if I want to make this in an open pan, I can just kind of pull it to the side and this part pops off to make that grill pan or if I want to keep all of the moisture inside, I can just find that angle again, line it up, and it will pop into place like so. But in the meantime, I need to pull out the handles and put them on. And again, these are super easy. It only takes a pop in place and uh, they're good to go. So with this, you just pop it into place and with two hands, you just secure it and it pops right in. And then on the bottom one, I have noticed that there's a little bit of a ridge here. Notice how the line of this is a bit different. So the bottom one is always going to be the one that looks like that. And again, I'll just open this up. I'll feed it into its spot and then I'll push it into place and we're good to go. So now comes the fun part. We lift up and it is time to put our stock in the pot. 
Now I've already pre-washed this, so it's good to go. And I'm going to put the entire chicken stock in here. Here we go. We're just gonna pop the top on this and in it goes. And then I will start the fire on a good medium. Stock is in. We have already secured it in place. And now we turn it all the way down and it lights. And then I'm gonna back it up to about there. So the reason why I like Ridge Monkey so much is because it evenly cooks things, but also it gives you a lot of different options on the road and it's super compact. So by being able to take off handles, I can store it in a lot less space and I only have 35 square feet. So every little tiny bit of space matters. Now I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put this in the van yet, but I'm gonna figure that out and we have a few more days before we depart while I'm sitting here and waiting on some things. So. Oh, I have some ideas. I also think that the smaller Ridge Monkey might actually fit inside of this one. And if it does, that would be really handy. But that's going to have to be a different story for a different day because right now I can hear it sounds like it might be getting to the bubbly stage. Okay, sure enough, we have some steam and oh yeah, definitely getting to the bubbly phase in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in some carrots and let them kind of simmer in just a little bit with this. About like this and into the pan they go and i'm just going to kind of spread them around so they don't all fall in one place it's been on for a couple of minutes now and so those are already starting to soften so now i'm going to open this up nice and wide let the steam come out and then i'm going to scoop some of this chicken in here oh and i'm just going to pull at least half of this in here because there's two of us and the pieces that are a bit larger like this one I'm going to go ahead and just kind of break them down so they're not quite as big of a bite. The chicken is in here and I'm going to be able to stir it with this and I'll just kind of stir it around. And again, I want to absorb all of that flavor, but I also want to move those carrots kind of around so that they're in every bite also. Ooh, everything is looking really nice. I just stirred it and all the chicken is starting to absorb this nice broth and get nice and juicy. And there's a good amount of carrots in here. Now this particular portion size that I'm making today is enough for two people, but I didn't want to make a lot so that I have a ton of extra because on the road, realistically, my portion size would be more like this. So this is helping me with like the cook times and figuring things out. It is clearly working super, super well. I have it at a nice rolling boil with all of the things cooking in and I just put all the seasoning in. And so it's really starting to smell oh, so good. I am looking forward to this so much. I don't think that even my joy on my face is even starting to explain how much I'm looking forward to using this on the road. Now this is the interesting part. Cooking for two people, I normally cook for more people whenever I make chicken and dumplings and it's usually one can of biscuits and I normally get the like extra thick ones. However, for this I thought it was actually a little bit more reasonable to get the smaller ones and then maybe I can use one of the smaller ones. I think the bigger ones would be too overwhelming for the amount of food that we're actually making. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open these. Oh, they opened right away. Normally I have to like whack them on the counter, but, but these were ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each biscuit and I'm gonna take it out. And in doing so, I'm just gonna tear off little pieces and I'm gonna make little balls out of those pieces and just float them in there. And this usually takes me a few minutes. So normally whenever I'm doing this at home, I just kind of sing a little song and it makes it go by a little faster. But ultimately my goal is to get tiny little marble sized biscuits so that whenever they start to puff up, they're not a huge just mound of dough and they end up cooking a little bit more evenly that way. I have a little mystery ingredient that I'm gonna add to it today. Normally I would add either cornstarch or a tiny bit of flour to thicken it but instead I'm going to use these little potato flakes. It's just gonna give it a little bit more of a like savory flavor and it's gonna be very good. And it's also not going to cling to the biscuits. And so I'm just going to put in a little scoop of this and then um, kind of move it around a little bit to make it a little bit more creamy. And that's a really good substitution if you don't have milk. I don't have any milk today. And so normally it would be milk flour or milk and uh, cornstarch, but this is my hack for not having milk. And a lot of times that makes sense on the road because realistically, I don't carry a lot of milk items with me because it just takes up a lot of room in my tiny refrigerator. So this is gonna make it much better. I can't wait. Okay, we're back to biscuiting again because we could always use a few more. I love <laughs> dumplings. Dumplings make me happy and on a cold night, this will be amazing. But also, sometimes on a warm day, you just want something that feels like home. 
chicken and dumplings have always been that. I remember whenever I was a kid, when I would get sick, my grandma would make me chicken and dumplings. My grandma Wanell was a really good cook and she would make some really nice things. And I remember she taught me how to do the biscuits and she would let me help sometimes. So I guess while that's simmering, I'm gonna go throw away my trash. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna get some bowls ready so we can pour it up and get going as soon as it's there so we can have the coziness. But all in all, this is definitely going in the van. Riley's grabbing us some bowls. I already grabbed us some spoons. Let's get this party started. Ooh, the steam. Oh, the steam. With a nice big scoop. Ooh, yummy, 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 my tummy. Yummy, 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 my tummy. Okay, the nice thing about the Ridge Monkey is even if you end up not putting the spray in it, sometimes things will stick in a traditional pan. However, with the Ridge Monkey, you'll notice that I can just take a silicone spatula and pull things off of the actual surface. Now, I do have one more tip for you guys, though. I've learned this from using Ridge Monkey for so long. If you do want to limit your cleanup that you have to do after the fact, the best thing that you can do is in this stage, right after it's been used, just take a little tiny bit of water in there and put it into this base pan, stick it back on your stove and boil the water. What that's going to do is it's gonna release anything that could be still left in there and that'll help you clean it so much better instead of things drying down. So now is the time that I get to test it out and I always like to just kind of stir it around once to release the heat because the heat gets trapped in the bowl and oh my goodness, then, then it burns quite a bit. So um, let's see. Mmm, mm, this is definitely good. It's a little more hearty than a traditional chicken and dumpling, but at the same time, it still has that great flavor to it. Mmm. Oh, this is, this is exactly what I've been looking for on the road. Mmm. The dumplings, oh my goodness. The dumplings are perfect. They popped up perfectly. They're nice and fluffy. They're not overly done. They're just right. They're cooked so nicely. And so overall, I think having that ability to close that lid really does elevate this dish from just something that I could cook that might be okay into something that is quite exceptional. I'm really pleased with this, but what do I know? I'm going to ask Riley. Riley. Yeah. What are you thinking about the chicken and dumplings from the Ridge Monkey? Right now it's just hot, like temperature hot. Super hot. But it's, um, Super, I can tell it's super tasty. Uh, I wasn't really super paying attention to the seasonings you added in it. It has a tiny kick to it, doesn't it? It's just regular pepper. Is it? Yeah. Well, I love it. So it's pretty good. So I'm all really in excited. all, taking it on the road, do you think this is going to be good for us? Heck yeah. Super excited. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let Riley get back to her food and it's super hot. So we're just going to give her a moment and let her sink into it. Oh, today all in all I think was pretty good. We started off the morning with an unexpected delivery. We ended it with a nice hot meal and all the things that happened in between were just chaotic and you're going to have to check those out on a different video. But um, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with today and how it went and this definitely will be making the cut. But now this makes me have to rethink a few things in the van. So we'll see what happens. But remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. I'm going to be sharing some more Ridge Monkey cooking with you as we travel. But um, if you have any suggestions for things I should try... Leave a comment below. Tyson sounds like he's even getting excited about it over here. That's awesome. Till next time, guys. Bye.